Jeff Younger was saying, I wish the American right was this smart. French far-right influencer Papa Chito to his followers, do not intervene, let the Republic go to the end of its logic. I want to review this full video because he expresses so well what I would want to say to you guys and what has been my position for years. Uh, it is absolutely beautifully said, so let's get started. I will, I will read in English. Uh, above is French voice. Bonjour les amis, euh, je reçois beaucoup de messages qui me disent qu'est-ce qu'on fait. I'm receiving lots of messages asking what should we do. Qu'est-ce qu'on doit faire euh, Est-ce qu'il faut intervenir Should we intervene We can't let it happen. Vous n'avez pas compris. You guys don't get it. We need to be smart. La France est un pays. France is a country which is very attached to its regime, the Republic, and yet it owes what is happening right now to this regime. If you intervene now, you will actually come to the rescue of this regime. You will rescue this regime, which is teetering under its own indulgence. There's been so much indulgence towards certain people that they now feel invincible. All this laxity is making the regime fall. Intervening now is to come to the rescue to a regime and to a people who firstly voted to perpetuate this regime and furthermore who voted for Emmanuel Macron. So to see you guys about to help them, I realize there really is an issue. The European of a century ago understood these things. Now, to be perfectly clear, you must leave the hordes of Hans, ransack the residences of people who voted for Emmanuel Macron. Now they're reaching the city centers, the suburbs, the places full of boomers who voted for Macron, boomers who don't care about leaving your country in shambles. Those very same boomers are being faced with hordes of funds you shouldn't intervene now. Now you must leave misinformed people, discover reality for themselves without the BFM TV filter. I have to tell you, I'm gloating. For 10 days, they've been explaining that I was a threat to the Republic, to democracy. A bunch of journalists really said that. To see now what really threatened the Republic, it's great. Let it happen. How do you expect the French to understand never get, if they never get a spanking? It's like children. Boomers are like children. They need to experience the catastrophe in their flesh to understand what's going on, what's at stake in France right now. So what's going on right now is a godsend. We've got to let the Republic go to the end of its logic. What the suburbs are doing right now, of course the motive is bullshit. They don't ransack when one of their own kill our children or shut up a Bataclan. But that's just the way it is. But you have to be strategic. And I remind you that we're Europeans. Right now they're doing the job for us. It's perfect. They're way more effective than any political video. I made a little video to try to show how rotten was the Republic. They're doing a thousand times better. They're humiliating it, even internationally. We're one year away from the Olympic Games, and here's what France is, what everyone sees on TV. So let it be. After a while, they'll call people like us, like us, to come and clean up. For now, just sit tight. This police force that helped this regime so much during the COVID is now sent by the same regime to contain the Huns. With contempt to boot since Emmanuel Macron condemned the policeman who did his job. And the police don't want to strike. They can't. 
for reasons of status, money, so they won't strike. So the Republic is faced with a dilemma. It has its arms and its policemen who are in the process of fighting each other. The Huns shouldn't go too far and the cops shouldn't break. But in the current logic, the Huns and further and the policemen are likely to crack. So your first instinct is to defend your country, but you won't defend it. You'll defend a regime and you'll allow the far left to say, oh, look, there's this political group fighting this ethnic group. And that's not at all desirable because they'll once again be the referee. Now that's over. Now they have to be involved. Did you saw what happened to Martins Bilongo? He tried to meet the rioters thinking that all of LFI's submissiveness was going to pay off and he got beat up with a crutch. That's what's going to happen to the far left in the next few days. They're going to be beaten with crutches. You'll note that I profess that people in the countryside would be safe from such things, and they are. It's all happening in the cities. I warned you a long time ago, go to the country. Normally, people our age in the country are conservative. They know why they left the cities. So it's all very well for the countryside to be spared. If you live in the country, you won't have riots. And if a rioter shows up, you've got all the tools you need. Not so much in the city. Right now, they're tearing down apartments of centrists and far leftists. These people look out their windows and see fire with Huns dancing around. Absolutely beautiful statement by Papacito. I didn't even know this guy. Apparently, he's a far right guy. I should know, but I didn't know this guy. Uh, but my God, is that what I think? We are faced with uh, a situation in which we have absolutely no interest at intervening one side or the other. It is the conclusion of what we've been saying would happen. It's happening. So we're right. And there is destruction. There, there is destruction of the very regime that ultimately is not persecuting those minorities. In fact, it is bolstering, it is emboldening those minorities. It is giving them chances that they wouldn't have had otherwise. This regime is really oppressing us, white European heterosexual people, but let, let this regime be totally destroyed or partially at least weakened by whatever amount of force these rioters are capable of deploying. 